and like do this over there now. Right, it is three minutes past nine when you left the camera, so when we say I've just come <coughs> I've just come here with it now. Give you a little update what we've been doing in the meantime. Dad's got the scaffold set up on this side and what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the trestle set up on that side and like do this over there now because um with it forecast rain, we could get all that up, but we don't know the exact um, dimensions of it all yet. So, if we get that side started, we can hopefully get the other lintel in and build over it and just get set up again. So, that'll give us time to know what we're doing. It's just occurred to me that I keep saying so again. Furthermore, <laughs> um, It'd just be a bit quicker if we get that part done up and finished. Then we've got another one to end, it's another milestone hit. So... I will, uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah, just get right to the centre. You're going to have to Well, that was nice. We just had uh, someone come up. We thought we were about to get told off for the dust or something, but uh, he's just uh, 
and we would say that thanks to the channel he's um, built, in, built an extension from Slab Up. So uh, that's great to hear that someone's uh, learning stuff from the channel. That's, that's what it's all about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was nice. So it's Sandy, thank you for coming to say hi and, and uh, making our day a bit better. But work-wise, Dad's got his, uh, his shape cut out, so I'm just going to help him get the stuff put into a barrow straight away. Save the mess. Do you want a chisel? One more bit of brick there as well. Oh. Oh. Or does that one get left in then? Yeah, let's cut that to get that one out. So with a little fit in that then. Yeah. Excellent. So we should be ready for some water then soon. I better go fetch it. Please. Oh, bit. Is there one on there? Yeah, but there's no end. Um, bit holder. Is it filming now? Yeah. Right. These starter packs they come with five bolts. Like two meter stretches. Now because we're using two, we obviously need six bolts. So down that and we pinch one off this pack. So we're down to four bolts for this one now. So for the top, I'm just using a couple of rubbers which are just big enough to put them in the washer fan.
Okay, you good in? Got to make do with the resources you get, haven't you? Yes. Now we can get some water on the board at probably about 11 o'clock. I'll just show you my uh, little hub I've got going on too. There's our little charging hub at the moment. We've got all the... All them charging. We've got that one. Radio. And then obviously... The drills. Jobs are good. There you go. That's how efficient that rattler is. That's the battery from it. It's still green. Start off with some water and then um, lintel, please.
choice you can pick one. Huh. Day by day. Can't make any videos out of it. No. Well, there we go. We got five courses. Nice. Five courses in five. a. Five. One, two, five. three, four, five. Yeah. Oh yes. We've got five courts, so we've got the dad got all the is cutting that, um, done. Is that got a hole in that pit, or is that the? That's the wheat vent. Yeah. So got all the cut out the cavity in the lintel hole. Got the lintel in. Got five courses in. He's got the block over the lintel. So and the of the scaffold set up over there. The rain has finally arrived. Let's see what time. What time did it say it was due? One. Just middle of the day. About quarter past twelve. No, I just got rid of it. <laughs> um, yeah, it gives us a good start for when we're here when it's dry. Which is looking good next week. Yes. We yeah, will. Steel to do inside, there's also lock up, so hopefully we can, instead of going off to another job, we can just stay in and get finished. Yeah. Get paid. There's also a window to block up a uh, brick up eventually, too. This is day six at work. Yes. So I've almost worked more than I did last month. Long time since we've done six days on the track. Yeah. I got a, I got nine days in. in se and before you say, oh, well, you were away with Nia, in September, the month I was back. That's how awful it's been. Probably a week, over a week of that was due to this building inspector. Yeah, building inspector was a week's worth of fault. Just um, putting things back, putting things back, then the weather. Took a few days out of it. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Morning. Happy Monday. So customers just uh, come to the van. Twisting my melon, man. Huh? Happy Monday. The older people will get it. So customers just uh, came up and give us a rough battle plan, so we have an idea what we're doing. Yeah. Do you uh, care to explain? Um, going to get the timber for the. I think you call it the wall plate, the top wall plate, and across the top of the wall. And a spa. I'm gonna set up a spa and work out where our rafter ladder goes so we can build in some bits of 4x2. So hopefully as long as the weather holds we can get these two packs finished and then we can move inside to the steels. Yeah. Which I'm going to order in a minute. Trust was guiding off that way to get the timber and going that way to get the steels. Ordered steels. Not far from JM, about a mile. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, so you remember we've um, got this side in that condition plus a little bit more. So we're going to start this side since that's where the scaffold's set up. And yeah, so I'll get a mix on while he gets everything else sorted and I'll get like our workstation set up because. We're going to need a bit of charging today with all the cutting I'm going to be doing. Because obviously, with all them funky cuts to do for the block, for the pikes on the block, the blocks on the pike. There we go. And we'll uh, get you set up then and. It's all cuts now. Yeah. A lot of cuts. So I've just said, so I'm going to get a charging station ready for the batteries. I'll uh, catch you in a bit then. The brew and um, we haven't set a brick yet, but um, we're helping Dave to get the uh, this wall plate up so we can get his spar sorted out. I don't want to, I don't want to start doing the cut ups and it'd be wrong, so we're going to set up an actual piece of timber to work to. So, um, Dave just nipped off to get a couple of nice sharp drill bits, and we just got these couple in. So, we'll fire away.
I'm going to well try these two off the ladder. What happens? Just be careful. So these pick are harder. So, this is a blunt bit, we're getting some new bits. This is not the ideal drill, but we, went, we didn't know we were doing this today, otherwise we'd have brought the little 12 volt SDS in. That would have had them all drilled out by now. It's just, uh, it's, it's a good drill. It's a good drill unless you're drilling. <laughs> it's a good drill unless the bricks are very old, hard. Yeah, these new ones are dead soft. The old ones, even though they're clay commons, are freaking rock hard. And these drill bits are struggling with them. They're, 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 they're too fast. The SDS is a lot slower and it's, there's, there's more punch, there's more jewels of pre, uh, impact on them than these. These like the, uh, the SDS is a lot. Which is its way through. I've never got any SDS drills in this today. Like you say, we weren't expecting to be drilling timber well, or bricklayers. Silly ass me got carried away clearing the van. Oh, look how clear the van is. I've got loads of room now, I've got no tools. So. Well, are you okay grabbing me some grabbers then, please? We'll do stage when he comes back. Okay. That's done the full width of it, that. What's that? What's the tip? Screw gun. Put it in mine. Hey? Put it in mine. Oh. There you go. Shows how much easier a uh, new bit is. There's a shiny. Two more. Two more, yeah. Two more from the
defeated by the rain again. <laughs> I'm just telling them defeated by the rain again. So weather apps had today. Uh, it'll be on for, from na it'll be on at nine o'clock in the morning, and it'll be stopped by ten. And then it started raining. At, would you say uh, twelve o'clock? Would you say it started raining at about twelve? Because we went for dinner, because we had an early dinner because of it, and then yeah, so, a long dinner because of it, it stopped. Yeah, so, right in the middle of our day, and, oh, well you guys know how it goes, don't you, with the rain. But there you go, there's how we're looking so far. Dad's almost got that brick side of the pike up. I think, um, there's one bucket left in the mix in, I've given that, so that should be enough to get the pike in, I reckon. Fingers crossed. I think there's like a spade full left, if not. And then obviously there's the wall plate, if that's what it's called. Deal. But yeah, I'll uh, throw you back, I'll, I'll change this battery and get you up on time lapse until I just show you how that's going. And while he's been doing that, I've been um, chipping out some of this old bed. Yeah? Did that lady stop? Oh yeah, we had a, we had a lady stop and tell us our, uh, our husband says we're really great uh, at what we do. So that was nice. It's uh, two compliments we've had in this job. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah. I'm um, knocking out some of the bed joints and the cross joints that we missed when we had to do it overhand under the fence panels. Get that bit. Uh, once I've got them chipped out, I'll probably join them tomorrow or something because uh, we need all the mortar to finish that. We're going to see about a mix, maybe not, because it looks like it's threatening again. Got to love the weather up. <laughs> right, enough waffling, I'll get you ready with Dad. See you in a sec. There we go. Back pike. Mm, more or less finished, apart from the block work. You see there, where the cavity runs through there. Tint -tint, the original cavity. The, um, that's it for today, because it's Sarah's birthday today. So we're finishing, tidying up and going off. Meeting them for her birthday tea. Because it's October the 2nd today. So, he's done most of the tidying up. This just needs jointing, this just needs tidying up, and then tomorrow, weather permitting, we can jump on the block work. Dave's nearly finished the, uh, the spa, the spa pattern. Once that's done, we can nick that into place here and I can get the block work absolutely banged on and get the block work done, get the cuts done with the uh, saw for that. These bricks are fine. It's quite a deep fascia. So you've got, um, got quite a lot to play with. And then there'll be three by two there, the, the, uh, at the bottom because the 3b2 is just perfect for going through the for the um, horizontal ladder fascia ladder spa ladder I don't know what they're called but it's basically you've got a we're going to spar against the inside of the skin spar in the cavity that might be the way and um, the ladder's coming off the spar so you'll have four pieces of 3b2 sticking out and then the nail the f cut off flush or slightly back for a, an air gap and then the fascia board attached to that so that's all fixed in that's done so we know what we're doing when we come back it's took, it's took a lot longer than we thought but like I said we've been helping with this 
setting things up, getting heights, so it's held us back a bit. But um, yeah, once this is finished, hopefully we'll get a good day at it tomorrow. If not, we've got work to do inside, we've got a door to block up and um, a wall to take out and steel's going. Steel's getting delivered tomorrow, which is 4.3 and it's a 241 by 146 I think, so it's good to big and I don't know why they say put them in that width because it's wider than the wall. Obviously the wall's 100 mil. So um, anyway, ours is not to um, reason why, we just do as we're told. So I'm going to cover this up temporary, help Alex get tidied up, get it jointed last thing and then off to get cleaned up for our birthday meal. Well, it seems we, well I forgot to film an outro again, so from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brick Cleaning with Steve and Alex, and we'll see you in the next one.